All right, guys, how's it going out there? Rooster here in Tennessee, roostercb.com, and uh, something a little bit different for a customer. I guess you could say this is a fully loaded, all the way, whatever you want to call it, RFX uh, Cobra 29 Chrome. Uh, this is one customer wanted uh, a few things done to it here, including Echo, which is right there. It's got a Ranger Echo board in it. The ability to turn off the RFX 95, which is back here on the back, right here, you can turn it off and just run the radio, turn it up there, and you run the RFX 95 with it. Of course, it comes with TalkBack being a, a 29 Chrome, and it has had a, a performance tune done to it. So, um, quite a bit goes into these. He probably got it uh, for probably cheaper than I would be doing these for in the future. Um, probably not going to sell them. It's the same price I sold him this one for, but uh, anyway, uh, 29 Chrome. I do have one more of these done right now, so uh, if you guys are interested and you like the way this one does, um, you know, it's going to do similar to this one. It might do a little more, might do a little less, but they're all going to do pretty similar. Um, we'll just show you the echo and stuff works. First, well, first we'll test the receive. I'm just going to key up my Cobra 90. You got about seven S units there, so it is receiving well. Uh, we've got a striker noise canceling mic on it here, one of these uh, SR76s. Hello, audio, audio, one, one, two, audio, one, check, check, audio. So you almost run the mic game wide open with one of these without it squealing. Hello, audio. There's your talk back and your echo working. External speaker, talk back will be a lot louder. These things don't have the greatest talk back on them anyway. That's no secret. It's not really the best. Um, but it's, you know, it, it does what it's supposed to. Your variable power or dead key is going to be right here on the Delta tune. And we'll get into the performance of the radio. We're testing at 14.6 volts right now. So just for reference, 14.6, and I'll just leave the camera mounted, and we'll try to zoom in. I guess you guys want to know what slug that is. That's a 250 in there right now. If this thing will come into focus, there we go. All right, we got a 250 in there right now. I got to get my camera repositioned again. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the top scale with this thing, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to key up. And your average power, or your your dead key rather, will start climbing up quite a bit after 12 o'clock on this. Uh, just the way the RFX is, it takes a little bit of dead key to get it to uh, start responding. But I mean, you guys can see, right there it's not keying much at all. Hello! And it'll audio to about 40 average. Now we can turn the dead key up. Oh, oh, yeah, still to about 40 average. And this is going to be your PEP. Hello, oh, audio one, two, three. And this one's showing about, what is that, 125? So I wouldn't say they'll always, you know, show this much, but this one is showing about 125. Hello, oh, audio oh, one, two, three. Audio oh, check, one, two, three. Audio. Oh. Hello, and just without unmounting the camera, I can tell you guys it's drawing. Hello, take my word for it, about six and a half amps there. So, six and a half amps at 14.6 volts. Check, check, audio. All right. So, that's the test with the RFX 95. About 40 average, 125 peak. Again, they'll do less than that. I think mine that I use over here actually does like 105 or 110 peak. So, this one's showing pretty stout. The PEP is showing a little bit higher on it. Let's get into the radio by itself without the RFX 95 turned on. And now I will tell you guys, I am using a heavy duty power cord on this. I do not recommend using a standard power cord. So to the guy that's getting this, if you haven't already thought about it, definitely want to get an upgraded cord. Um, whether you get it from me or whether you make one yourself. We're just going to put a 50 in here. So we're going to be looking at the middle scale. And we're going to go ahead and uh, 
turn the RFX kit off here and we'll see how the radio does by itself. Now this is average power. Okay, to go up to about seven or eight watts. Hello, audio. And swing to 10 average. Hello. I mean, even turning it down. Hello. Now if you turn it all the way down, it falls off. Hello, but as soon as we get a little bit of carrier in there, about 10 watts average. And then your PEP, audio, check, 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 audio, check, 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 audio, check, 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 check. Hello, check, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Again, take that for what you will, 40 PEP. Now, on a dosimeter, is it going to show that? No. I have to always put that out there, guys, because... A lot of people are still not getting with the program and using the bird meter. Uh, it will show less on other meters, just the way a bird reads. You know, you can say it's loose, but it is the industry standard, so uh, take that for what you will. But that's it. Uh, customer's been patiently waiting. He checked with me last week, I think, to see what the status was on it. And uh, this one's done and ready to go for him here. Nice radio. Uh, hopefully it stands the test of time run this into something like a four pill and you've got a real screaming setup. I mean, a straight 42879, this thing drives it as hard as you need to drive one. You want to keep going through that chain with one of these radios, you could do this into a straight four, into like a 16C, a 24 standard. Um, and also, you know, the good thing about this with the option to turn the amp on and off, you don't have to run the RFX95 on. You can just run this as a regular radio if you wanted to and do that 10 watts average you know 35 40 pp whatever uh, but what you don't want to do is think okay well i'm gonna hook up a low drive amp and you accidentally turn the rfx 95 on because that will be a total disaster for you so just something to keep in mind guys let me know what you think um like i said Fully loaded, I guess you'd say, uh, Cobra 29 Chrome. Maybe we'll do some more of these in the future if people like them. You know, some of the other radios have been kind of a smash hit, like the fully modified, the the uh, all the way 955s, all the way 497s. This is kind of the Cobra 29 version of that. But just just a heads up, guys, when you when you go to doing all these mods to these 29s, you end up with a good bit of money in them. Um, you know, Ranger Echo Board, the cost of the RFX 95 plus the cost to put it in. I mean, I don't know, you know, I have a good idea what some places are charging, but they're charging quite a bit to put those in. And then you factor in the the tune of the radio and uh, adding the variable power and all that, you know, you can end up with some serious money in a Cobra 29 Chrome. So if you like Cobra 29s, which I do, I'm a unit in Cobra uh, kind of person, maybe it's worth it to you, but it's just something to think about before you guys go dropping this money into one of these 29 chromes like this, you know, are you going to be able to have the same resale value down the road like you will something like a striker, you know? Maybe you are, maybe you won't. Just something to think about. I'm not trying to discourage people from getting these. Just something to uh, toss around before you commit to buying one. All right, guys, I appreciate it. I've got one more of these done up the same way. Maybe I'll do a video on it later. We'll get it listed up on the website. Uh, it's generally something you'd probably have to custom order. Cobra 29 LTD chrome. Fully modded, fully loaded, RFX 95. Appreciate it, guys. Rooster in 10, roostercb.com. See you, bye.